I'm Professor David Maimon, Director of the Evidence-Based Cybersecurity Research Group in Georgia State University. So part of what I do uh, with my group is uh, try to understand the online fraud ecosystem. My group and I, we spend a lot of time on uh, underground markets in which criminals sell all kinds of illicit commodities. So you know, we see a lot of counterfeit products, we see a lot of identities, and in mid-2021, we started to see a lot of checks uh, flooding the markets. So this is how things look like when a criminal is depositing a check using uh, the mobile app. And we started to see more and more of uh, these screenshots that the criminals uh, posted. But at the same time, uh, many ATM deposit slips like the one you're seeing right here. We realized that uh, folks are using multiple accounts simultaneously to deposit the high volume of checks they were simply um, purchasing from the markets um, and depositing on different on different accounts. So this is a, a good example, right, for um, you know several checks, three checks being deposited on three different bank accounts uh, by one single criminal. This is another image. Um, with a bank deposit uh, using a mobile app. See the bank brand right here, deposit amount, right? Um, and sort of all the, all the important uh, feature uh, in the mobile app that allows you to deposit a check. Um, and then the last thing that uh, sort of um, sparked our imagination with respect to where these guys are getting access to all those accounts are images like the image you see here. Numerous debit cards, which they displayed in images using those debit cards to deposit uh, all the checks they, 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 they had access to. Either uh, they stole or, or purchased. Actors who simply started posting screenshots from uh, bank accounts with balances showing, uh, um, you know, zero. And then we, when we started to investigate, we realized that this guy, uh, this vendor, is actually selling those uh, bank accounts with, with zero balances on them. We also witnessed many cars like the one you're seeing right here on the screen. So what, what, what we started to do in um, June was to track the number of images um, with cards on them, like the plastic cards in them as well as the images with screenshots with bank accounts showing zero balance on them in a systematic manner for one specific vendor. So we've done that for a period of six months. We're seeing this increasing trend from one single actor uh, and of course uh, being out there in the ecosystem we're able to see more and more um, Copycats, right? More and more folks like the individual we're we're monitoring, uh, offering their services. Now, this is this is interesting, right? Because unlike uh, credit cards that you're opening under someone's name, if the credit line is frozen, you won't be able to do that. With bank accounts, it's it's a different story, right? Uh, because uh, the credit freeze does not impact your ability to establish a new bank account on behalf of someone else's name. The best thing in my mind you can do at this point is just make sure you freeze your credit, make sure you purchase some kind of an identity theft protection plan, which will alert you every time someone is using your identity. And uh, simply monitor your bank account on a daily basis, monitor your credit card. I think uh, the major big thing right now uh, is trying to understand how all those identities are actually being used in the context of uh, money laundering and more specifically uh, sports betting. This is a serious problem that is largely being ignored. Uh, it's our hope that exposing the magnitude of this will help spur action because far too many people are losing far too much money to this type of crime.